After completing our mission work in southern Kenya, we were taken on a long bus ride to see another mission project that's just getting started. It's a Christian boarding school that's in need of help to replace old dilapidated buildings. The school sits on a hilltop in a rural area of southwestern Kenya. This part of the country gets more rain and tea farms are prevalent in these hills. That gave us a scenic drive as we slowly wound through the hills on a very rough dirt road. Once in a while, we passed local residents along the way. at the school, we were greeted with songs by the school staff, the students, and their families. The origins of this school began with a man named Paul Segura, who was born in 1913. He owned the property that the school is built on. In the late 1950s, he started meeting with a small group of people under a tree on his property. From those group meetings, this church was built. Paul had a dream one night that there was a school on his property and people from far away had come to build it. That idea stuck with him for years. Eventually, he donated his land for a school to be constructed. Finally, in 1996, Kimagoru Christian Boarding School was founded with 35 students. Today, there are 230 students, but the school buildings are badly in need of upgrade. This is the girls' dormitory. It houses 60 girls, and they have to sleep two and three to each twin bed. And this is the boys' dorm. It's smaller but houses 57, only three less than the girls. The tin roofs on all of these buildings leak when it rains. All of the students and staff have to share this outhouse to go to the bathroom. This is the building where classes are held. You can see the rooms are quite small. Here's the school staff building. Inside it is this teacher's room where they can store belongings and take breaks between classes. And here's the principal's office. And finally, here's the kitchen. These pots sit over wood-burning holes in the ground. Obviously, this school is badly in need of improvement, and Maranatha has already started building this new dormitory and bathroom. A volunteer group will be arriving soon to complete it. Maranatha is also committed to building another dorm and a kitchen and dining room. It's no wonder these people were so happy to meet us. The man that donated this land for the school, Paul Segura, was there on the day we visited. He's 110 years old and we got to meet him in person. With Maranatha's recent commitment, Paul's dream of having a school on his property and people from far away would come to build it is coming to full fruition. <laughs> 